Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Curious Realm's continuing coverage of Stairway to the Stars here at the Luxor in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have the great pleasure of being joined by remote viewer and anomalous encounter researcher, Tracy Garbett Dolan. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. Um, how did you first come to the world of remote viewing? Well, <laughs> I bumped into it, to be honest. I did it in... Um, I'm trained in controlled remote viewing, but when I first bumped into it, it was at a school I was going to. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but its uh, name is Ramtha. That's the name okay. of the school. Yep. Um, and th they were basically practicing disciplines of the mind. And I've always been interested in anything I can do to um, explore the mind. Okay. And um, one of the disciplines we did, just as a trial, was send basic sending and receiving. And I was okay. You know, okay. and then we did something called a future remote view, and oh. basically what happens. Uh, so this is not in the controlled protocol method. Mm -hmm. This is a loose method. Yes. Um, but so on the, let's say, we arrive on a Saturday, and we do the remote view that day, but the person who's going to pick the target isn't even chosen until the next Saturday. Okay. So we're gonna remote view what, what this world. person is going to pick a week later, a week in the future. So I thought, okay, I'm mm. game. Sure. I didn't really think that would happen, but um, I got a hit on that. And so ever since then, I've been extremely intrigued by what, how can we do this? What is this? It, it's hard when it happens that you don't fully integrate mm. what's happening. You're just like, yeah. okay, where do I go from here? You know. And yeah. so after that, I ended up signing up for a course in Canada with Paul Elder, who's connected oh, okay. to the Monroe Institute. Yeah. And um, I just pursued it deeply as an exploration of my own mind. It was on behalf of all of us, you know, I, yeah. I'm i fascinated by what's different about all of our minds and I think that we, um, we don't really actively explore it that much and remote viewing was this yeah. amazing way to dig in and kick around and see what we got in here, yeah. you know, and what we can do. So Absolutely, especially, yeah. um, I'm a big fan of protocol remote viewing, yes. you know, controlled remote viewing. It's it's amazing. But when it comes to intuitive remote viewing, mm -hmm. things like that, like what you're talking about, yeah. where you kind of step away from the protocol. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think it's important to do both. So my yeah. official training is CRV, controlled okay. remote viewing. That was just a sampling that I had that got me interested in it. Sure. But I also really appreciate the protocols. I think it's really important. I think that... Um, understanding why we want to not have front loading, you know, why we yeah. want to be blind to the target, learning mm -hmm. about uh, the process of questioning our own mind sure. uh, as part of the protocols is really important. I think there's a lot to be gleaned there. Yeah. Were, were you ever uh, involved in the world of mediumship or anything yeah. like that? Were you an intuitive yeah. before you yeah. took these classes? I usually don't talk okay. about it very much, right. but... Um, I think just about any of us who got into controlled remote viewing or intuitive remote viewing yeah. got there because something has happened mm. that has given us a hint that there's more to our minds yeah. and um, there's a, an extra sensory perception that we're not exploring totally. So, no, absolutely. Uh, yes, I, I do come from that side of the fence. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, and that's okay. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, when, whenever I've interviewed Lim Buchanan the few times that I've yeah. had, amazing individual, yes. but, um, the, the one thing he says is, it, it, though we all have a propensity to be psychic, and some people may be able to naturally flex that more than others, uh, you know, learning to be psychic is different. Yeah. Um, but anybody can be taught to control remote view, yeah. whether you have a propensity to be psychic yes. or medium or intuitive or not. And that, yes. is, that is what, to me, is the most remarkable thing, the work from SRI, yes. things like that, where it is just documented. Um, out of all the conferences that I go to, 
That is the one that I go to where people have commas and letters behind their names. Yes, like, isn't it that amazing? Like laser physicists, yes. nuclear physicists, uh, psychiatrists, psychologists. It's, it is phenomenal to see the literal panoply of wow. education that is in that field. Yeah. It is, it is awesome. It, and it's also great validation for the intuitive mm. remote viewing mediumship psychics for so long that we're so marginalized and it really does validate them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And that, I know my audience is probably tired of hearing it in the last three days of coverage. I've smooth said it 10 times. Uh, the, the whole concept that quantum entanglement mm -hmm. won, won the Nobel Peace Prize. I take it directly back to remote viewing every yeah. time like that is the paper that was written that started remote viewing yeah. was scientists inadvertently affecting their experiments right. when they were just thinking about them yeah um and this goes uh, despite all statistic um which on paper in the lab remote viewing is proven 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 again yes. proven yes. again proven again all this does is further scientifically <laughs> yeah. confirm the fact that yes, right. we are connected beyond yes. a huge number of means. Yes. It's, it's remarkable the ways that we are vibrationally connected together and connected to the world around us if you're willing to be open to that. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't uh, agree with you more. What would you recommend for somebody looking to get into remote viewing for the first time? Well, that's an interesting question. I've just been asked that several times since my lecture. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a good okay. answer because I don't, I don't teach it. There's lots of amazing people out there. and um, but I always I, recommend Irva myself. That's a, the, that was going to be the next thing out of my mouth. Uh, and what I did with every single person that mm. came up, I wrote Irva on a card for them. Yeah. It's sort of the central hub of resource and a Absolutely. trusted source as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's where I usually send them to. Because these days, I mean, I did it in a classroom. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a great benefit to that, uh, as you probably know. Mm. But um, these days, a lot of people want to do it online. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I understand. So I don't have good resources for people who want to mm. do it online. But I'm sure Irva does. Yes. I'm sure they do. Yes, Irva does. I know Lim Buchanan has online classes. Oh, I didn't know his were online. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Oh, yeah. good. Um, he's online, I want to say... Um, is Lori uh, Williams Angela Thompson, maybe? Angela Thompson Smith She's online. has online classes. Is Lori Williams um, online? I believe maybe? so. Oh, okay, I believe good. So, so, so yeah, I just there, haven't there been keeping few, up. There are a few online resources for that kind of stuff. So I want to thank you so much for your time during this very busy Stairway to the Stars. Your table over there has been <laughs> chock full. So <laughs> thank you for your patience. Absolutely, no worries I mean, at all. Thank it's, you. Whenever you're at these events, it is about being able to get your message and what you're doing out to the people. So yeah. that is always primary and paramount as always so well, and thank you for your enthusiasm oh for absolutely the topic. obviously you have great enthusiasm enthusiasm i am for getting it. ready to start lim buchanan's class oh you myself. are oh wonderful so, yeah um, let Lynn everybody is know amazing. oh he is he is an amazing just human being yeah. in person yeah. to begin with let everybody know where they can go to follow you online where they can go to contact you well i uh, i actually don't have a really big online presence okay. but i can be found at richarddolanmembers.com so okay. even though it's a membership website we do have a lot of free content <clears throat> and at least it would be a jumping point to find me okay <laughs> no i'm going to be publishing an article there this week on awesome. abductions and close encounters Ooh. and um I'm sure there'll be some remote viewing coming out in the future. I would love to so. have you back on to talk about the remote viewing ET paranormal yeah. connection. Because yeah. there, there is a lot there. There is a there lot is. there. A lot of the professional, highest level remote viewers yeah. have had encounters through their remote viewing. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Wonderful. Thank you so much, Tracy, once again. Yeah. While you are online checking out all of the amazing work of Tracy Garbett Dolan, make sure to stop on by Curious Realm. Curious Realm.com. It's where you can find all the episodes. That's where you can like, follow, subscribe, where you can buy the books and videos of our guests. Stay tuned through these commercial breaks, everybody. We will be right back with our continuing coverage of Stairway to the Stars here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada at the Luxor right after this.